I got the feeling that they may be a... Sans! Sans, what the hell are you doing? You are so unrefined and barbaric. The boss was just standing there. Oh my god, do not call me that. What the hell are you two talking about? Did you just try to kill Chris? I wasn't, but Seans surely did. He was trying to steal their human soul. But he seems to have forgotten that I need to do that. I must become a member of the Royal Guard. I must assist in the eradication of humanity. Yes. Wait, then why are you sparing us? It would be too simple to kill you now. It is but a matter of culture. I must catch you in one of my many traps and puzzles. I am not a wild monster like, well... Seans! Come on, boss. Give me some slack. I deal with my victims to the point. We are not discussing this badger right now. You will accompany me this very instant. There is a trap I need to find soon. As for you three, come forth if you dare. <laughs> that double crossing piece of- Susie, are you sure he's the one that we've seen? He doesn't have the same outfit. And did you see that strange crack under his eye? I guess you're right. But the moment he lays his hands on Chris, he's dead. Well, if Chris will let you, that is. I'm sure they will. But we gotta keep moving. Let's go forth, I guess. A familiar face rushes in. Laugh. You laugh at the snow drape before it says anything. Susie and Noelle just stare at you. What are you laughing at? You and Susie boo the snow drake. But he hasn't even said anything. Wow, this is the high octane action I've come to know and love from Delta Travel. You make a bad ice pun. Snow Drake seems annoyed. Susie points her weapon at Snow Drake. Snow Drake looks ready to snap the branch in half. Oh. High octane action. Oh god, I got hit. <laughs> Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. You and Susie boo the Snow Drake. You're so pathetic. You're no different than the snowy I know. Oh. Andrew jokes suck. Literally unchanged. <laughs> won't be funny either uh, we got a joke and then spare let's go oh my god bro that was one fight that was one fight hell's forest oh my god what a start so i'm kind of confused why'd you say snowy that i know because i don't even know who you are it's complicated the less you know the better so it's an icy situation huh what it's a joke laugh at it ha <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no moving or else death. That seems about right. Who's there? I heard something. I know that something's out there. I can only see moving things, but my hearing hasn't deceived me yet. Should we say something? Maybe in a second. Let's try not to get sliced first. Show yourself. Doggo. Wait, Chris, we don't want to freak him out. Maybe we should make our presence known first. Chris, I don't want him to stab any of us. You probably need to calm him down. Don't move an inch. Oh, literally just don't move. We're going to defend just in case. Do I feed? Oh my god. I was not prepared for that attack. Doggo's freaking out. No, we're going to pet him. We're oh, Chris is dead. Well, that is unfortunate. Doggo's too suspicious of your movements. Chris, I don't want him to stab any of us. You probably need to calm him down. Get away, feet! Okay, well, got body by the literal second enemy in the area. That is, that is good. That is good. We are officially doing the gaming guys we are officially gaming all right there we go noelle spoke calmly to doggo hey we're not gonna hurt you maybe we could be friends doggo seems to have calmed down but isn't entirely convinced yet susie stuck behind doggo and shook it doggo jumped and hit his head on the ceiling you're gonna need to show me hey you pet doggo maybe a little more you thoroughly pet doggo yeah, let's go! I, 
I made friends with people I don't know. <gasps> they barely even moved. Maybe I can make up with the rest of the card. I need a nap. Okay, well then. What's up? Shop. What can we buy? Hmm. Talk. Doppelganger. Have you heard of the multiverse before? It's something that sounds really sci-fi, but it's literally happening around us right now. In fact, it's something I've studied pretty extensively ever since coming here. Well, when I came to where I live, I mean. Uh, anyway. Because of the opportunity of choice and variation, there are multiple ways that events can play out. The different worlds we see are their impacts. They're known as alternate universes. If two of these universes are only just slightly different, but are otherwise similar, then I call these two alternate timelines. In the case of this place, I'd say it's an alternate timeline to the universe I live in. It's obviously in a pretty bad state. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you that it clearly affected the me that lives here. Huh? Why would the me from here be so violent? We probably shouldn't talk about that right now. Interesting. Interesting. Oi! I've been attacked. Uh, X ignore. Everyone looked away from Ice Cap's hat. Suddenly, Ice Cap starts a riot in a ridge. Look at my damn hat! This is really the attack? Are, are we serious? Steal the hat? You try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Susie insults the. <laughs> oh my god. This help! This is a stupid Christmas deer. Uh, compliment. Uh, it interrupted me. Interesting. Oh god, hello? Uh, what do you- what do you want me to do then? You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. So, maybe it's sufficiently weakened now? Hey! You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. It succeeded. It melts in your hand. What can I say? Smells like frozen despair. Compliment? You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. Susie insults Ice. It feels dejected. Noelle complimented Ice on its new look. Hey, you don't need to be defined by a hat. I wanted you to see me as cool. Aw, Ice doesn't mind its identity. Thinking about it now, my old hat was pretty lame. Maybe I should try pants instead. Call me Johnny Ice Pants. Is this in reference to something? It sounds a bit specific. No. So that's that's a reference I don't get. Okay. Ooh, no. There's a strange pile of snow here. Take the carrot. I don't know if that's good or bad. What are what are the two stooges up to? Your priorities are out of whack. You're killing everything in sight, yet you cannot get a simple trap in order. Yeah, traps are pretty lame. What the hell are you weirdos talking about? Oh, oh, it is the human. Finally, all of you fell into my brilliant trap. For you see, this is the invisible... Electricity maze. Freaking Carla, dumbass. Oh, but you are so mistaken. Not only did I save your life last time we met, but this is the kind of zap sure that you shall face. This orb will administer a hearty zap. I imagine your beauty bodies cannot take many of- Oh my god, you're hilarious. You really need to get Smiley Trash Bag and check, dumbass. Why you? Say, boss, probably should give that thing to him if you actually want to, you know, kill him. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Uh, okay, so what if we, like, threw this away and just walked through the maze? Well, not compliance shall be punished. In that scenario, I will allow Sans to do what he pleases, and you do not want that to happen. Uh, never mind. You think you can do this, Chris? Chris, remember the path that he took? Maybe if we follow it, then you can avoid getting hurt. Hey, enough hands. Human, make your way through. <gasps> I live! It 
incredible use liveries there, y'all. You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be as easy. It is designed by my brother Sands. No, it is not a lunge into your soul again. It is a properly laid challenge, and you will surely be decimated. Yeah. <laughs> There's a dusty note on the card. There's no point in ice cream in such a mean world. Oh. You notice that the card has some ice cream in it. If it's abandoned like this, maybe we should take some? No, I'm a good person. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yellow, your surefire accuracy put an end to the mayhem of ball. You are awarded three gold. We stopped the mayhem of ball, guys. That's pretty sick. Oh, God. You men, I hope you're ready for this incredible challenge created by my incredibly talented brother. It is surely something you cannot pass up. Okay, dude, I would not trust that letter. Who knows what kind of stuff he put in there? Just walk past it, Chris. Open the letter? Of course. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was literally just gonna be the the like crossword again. What the hell was that? Let her head ass. That was basically a bomb. Um, Zayans, I was expecting a bit more than well an assault. I figured that it would have been a trick. Like maybe you wrote a very nice flattering letter that backstabbed them while they are distracted. Oh, Papyrus, do you really think I'd let him by after what I've been through? After what they've done to me. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, you wouldn't know. Well, that was rather unexpected. But do not be alarmed. I shall keep him on the strongest of leashes. Well, metaphorically, of course. From here on, you will encounter fair challenges. They will not be sudden assaults you could not predict. I will make sure of that. In any case, as long as you see road, you will see traps. <laughs> the hell did he mean by they? He wasn't talking about us, right? Because we only met this guy like 10 minutes ago. Maybe he's confusing us with someone else. Whatever, let's get going. What you see in front of you is a barricade. That is because the road ahead is too dangerous. Use the forest detour south of here to get to Snowden. Best of regards, Papyrus, future Royal Guard member. Amazing. This is, uh, kind of eerie. You can barely see into the darkness. Can you see anything, Chris? I can't see anything. Should probably grab that torch then. Hell, I'd probably say to grab it even if you can see. It's really dark. Take torch. You know what? No. Wait, hold on, huh? <laughs> so you can't see in the dark. There's something in front of us. The hell is a snow drake doing down here? Hey, what are you doing? The hell was that? This isn't funny, dude. Susie, I don't think that's a normal snow drake. Huh? Wait, what? Feral Drake. You booed Feral Drake, nothing happens. Susie points her weapon at Feral Drake, nothing happens. Noel flows snow through the cold air. Feral Drake became tired? Oh god, hello? Too fast! Too fast! Okay, we just have to defend, defend, defend. I recognize this attack. Ow! I did not need to take that many hits. That was very stupid of me. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Sleep mist. Boom. Pacified, baby. Hey, wake up. What? What? Was that all a dream? No, you were trying to eat us. So what the hell is the deal? Me and a few friends came here looking for Snowy. But everyone started to lose their minds, including me. Oh yeah, Snowy. Have you seen Snowy? Well, uh, I think he's up the ladder near some cardboard thing. Really? Excuse me. The hell was that? Do you think the forest is putting him into a feral state? Seems like it. I guess we should keep an eye out for that. Wait, what's this? It's an H. I'm pretty sure it's a part of a ladder, Susie. Oh, um, I guess I'll hold on to it. Susie got a ladder piece. Let's get going. Whoa! I can't see anything, dude. Yeah, I'm taking the torch. 
<laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's cool. Who's there? You better not be here to terrorize us again, bonehead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill, dude. I've never even met you before. You see? Is that you? Wait, like the restaurant? Who told you my name? Huh? Oh, I've just known for a while. Oh, uh, whatever. Y'all seem like you're not here to kill us anyway. Why don't y'all help yourselves inside? Welcome inside. Much nicer than the dark forest, huh? Yeah. Bit cramped, though. Why do you guys even live down here? Well, we all lived in Snowden Town a long time ago. Wasn't the best place, given how the underground is. But it was nice enough. That was until the two brothers snapped one day. They started going on a murderous rampage. I know killing isn't too uncommon here, but this was just a massacre. Got to the point where we had to hide ourselves somewhere to avoid them. I still run my shop there to keep up on supplies. Well, up until recently. What happened? A bunch of wild snow tricks attacked me on my way down here a week ago. Broke the ladder into pieces. I got most of the pieces, but I'm still missing a few of them. Left my axe at the shop, too. I've been stuck here ever since, trying to find them before I try and tempt fate. Well, we happened to get one of them just now. Apparently, one of the snowdrakes was holding on to it. Really? That sounds wonderful, actually. I've never been able to get near them, let alone put a dent into them. Would you mind helping find those pieces? Well, um, uh, it's the only way we can go forward. We're trying to get to Hotland. What do we need to get those pieces? But I imagine that might be a harrowing task. Say, I just noticed, is that you, Miss Noel? Huh? Well, yeah, you've gone up a lot faster than I expected. Tell you what, since you're all helping me out, I'll let you stay the night. Heck, I insist you take a rest right now before you get going. Um, I guess we can. I think we only have two bedrooms available to sleep in. Two of y'all might need to share a bed. <laughs> Chris, you should probably take the single bed. What? But I don't want to share a bed. Do you want Chris to steal all the blankets? Okay, fine. I'll share with Noel. Okay. Time to sleep. What did I do? It feels like I'm drifting without my input, doing things against my will. Yet everyone thinks, it's just you, Chris. What did I do to deserve this? Am I just cursed? Why do I deserve to be cursed with the removal of my agency? What about the me from all these other worlds? Do they also suffer this curse? Is this just my fate? I want to end it so badly. All I want to do. Just rip it out. And just... Susie. Noel. Azriel. Someone. Anyone. Please. Help me. Please. I don't want to die alone. Chris? We've been knocking for like five minutes already. Don't make us come in there. Give them some time, Susie. They're really bad at waking up. I've been waiting. If you don't come out here, we're leaving without you. You fucking wouldn't. Oh, you mean you didn't actually leave? I'm sorry, I thought you were gonna leave if I didn't come out immediately. Yeesh, dude, what happened to you? Looks like you had one hell of a nightmare. It was horrible. Well, do you want to talk about it or something? Give me a hug. Aww. <laughs> Noel, what the hell? Chris, I don't do hugs. I mean, 
Uh, I guess it's fine. Uh. Aw. They're there. Dude, it's gonna be fine. Quit tearing up or I'm gonna start crying too. And you don't want to see me cry. Chris, we should probably take a minute to talk about this. An outburst like this, it's not like you. Um, sure, we can give you a minute. We can talk about this downstairs if you really want to. Just don't take forever again, okay? Why am I going back in here? What is happening? No! No! Put it back! Put it back! Back! Put it back! I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Excellent. Truly excellent. We finally have time for a heart to heart. So, Chimkin, I am sure it is exhausting to be tethered to Chris. Why don't I offer you an opportunity? To escape, I shall allow you to craft a vessel. Look at me styling with the split part. Torso. Um, we're gonna go with the jacket. I'm cool. Look at me. Look at how cool I am. Wow. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yes. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. Hello? Who's talking? Yeesh, dude, that sounds like hell. It appears we have run out of time. We shall continue this very, very soon. What? Chris, you really should have told us this sooner. We could have helped out. Or tried to do something at least. Chris, don't bother worrying about, I don't know, standing still, I guess. We're not gonna think it's weird that you're, uh, a little robotic. Well, it is a little weird, but you get it. We'll get through this together, Chris. I hope we can at least try to keep it under control. Thanks, guys. Don't mention it, dude. Anyway, we should probably get moving. All that talk about destabilization from earlier is bugging me. We need to find Alphys before that gets worse. Let's get going. Well, after you grab your... thing. Yeah, see you two downstairs. Alright, Chris, see you in a bit! What exactly did they say? Wait, what? Your eye is open now. Hold on. What the fuck did I just wait? What? Hold on. What happened? What did my vessel just do? I just missed something. I don't know what just happened. I'm going to need to actually go back and watch like what just happened. No need to go back upstairs. No, I think I think there might be a need, guys. I think there might be. Run into the darkness. Let's go. Oh, got a ladder piece. Oh my god. <laughs> that actually scared me too. My heart stopped. Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually kind of a heart attack. All right. That's actually, like, the fastest way to get rid of these guys. <laughs> Boom. We got another piece. Hey, there it is. I think the 
this might be the last one. Let's go ZQC and see if we need to find any more. Ah. Uh. Who could it be? What the hell is going on out there? Is that? Chris, start running. Ow. A little bit aggressive, brother. Oh god, I just went in a circle. Fuck. I'm dead. Gaming. 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 Found you. Back the hell away, freak. Nah. I've got you right where I want you. What do you want from us? You know, every time I've held on to hope, it's just eroded away. It's about time you felt what I felt. That doesn't answer the question, dumbass. Like I tell you about how I felt. You should know. Hey, rabbit lady, open the door. She's not gonna help. No one will. You can't even help yourselves against me. You sure you want to try us? Dimension travelers that can take on a giant mech? Susie, don't! You're really getting my expectations up, but I don't believe you. Now enough talking. Time to die. Gotcha! Get the hell away from them, you damn! see, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but he got away. Feels like every time I get a chance to kill him, he runs away. So much for his killer be killed rhetoric. Uh, thanks for saving us, but, um, we've got like four of those ladder parts now. Do you know if we need to get more? All oh, right, I believe that's all of them. I'm carrying the ones I found right now, so let's go ahead and rebuild the ladder. Meet me over at the dead end to the east of here. Oh. I'm sure she means there's a cliff we can build the ladder to. I guess, but uh, what about the whole I'll keep a leash on him bit? Maybe, um, oh, Sans left after the letter attack. Maybe he ran away while Papyrus was distracted. They'll both run away after I beat him up. Now let's go. It's behind us, isn't it? Fight me. Damn it. I'm sorry to ask this of y'all, but can you take care of this last snow drink? I can take that torch from you if it'll make things easier. I guess so. We've got no real choice anyway. Here we go. Is it just me or does this one not tired yet? Uh. A uh, joke. Nothing is happening. Literally nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? Why is this just not working? Damage, bro. Relax. Jeez. Hey, stop. <gasps> Chill, Drake. What's happening over here? I heard roaring from really far away. What's wrong with you? Chili, calm down. I heard everything. I'm okay, man. Come on, dude. It's me, Snowy. Don't you remember me? God, what the hell have I been doing for this long? That haze just like drove me crazy. But you're fine now, right? Hell yeah, brother. Let's ditch this forest already. Wow, I didn't expect that. No, me neither. <laughs> Anyway, I finally got the ladder built, so I'm getting out of here. Again, thank you all so much for helping us out. It's a pleasure, QC. Stop right there. Step to the side, all you. We've heard multiple reports of a human wandering around with a couple of monsters. Have you three seen this human? Uh... Nope. I uh, have no idea what a human looks like. Are you sure? You three smell strange. Well, um, we just, uh... We just helped the rabbit family escape from the deep forest. We had to fight a few wild snow drakes down there, so maybe it's dead? Yeah, that makes sense. Get back to town, all you. It's dangerous out here, especially with a human prowling around. Okay, got it. Humans dangerous? That's a little presumptuous, don't you think? And how come they didn't recognize Chris as a human? Chris, remember what your mom said? Or what your mom from the purple cave thing said? They wanted to, like, take your soul or something. 
I mean, I don't know. What do you think is up? Something happened to them. So, like, what do you think? That they went to war or something? I wonder if in this underground world, humans and monsters are much more violent towards one another. Which is a little worrying given what we know about human power. Wait, what? Just some boring history stuff. <laughs> huh? Then let's stop wasting time. Let's get going. Time to zoom. Hello? There's a very tempting big red button on the tree. Press it. Obviously, you press the button. Chris, why'd you push that? You can get up, right? Chris? Oh my god. Oh, hello there. You. Why the hell weren't you keeping an eye on Sans? What are you talking about? We got ambushed by him, dumbass. What? That's ridiculous. He's been diligently listening to me talk right next to the sa I thought he was being unusually quiet. You think? Where could he? Oh, he's over there at the next puzzle. So he did get away before I could get over there. Apologies for that. I do know that he is at the puzzle ahead. I can even see him from here. So you are all safe from him for now. But, uh, there is another puzzle here for you to solve. I was going to make it into the shape of my face, but Seance wanted it to be more intimidating. So I made it into his face instead. But I am unsure of the solution. Feel free to stand by while I figure it out you should totally not push any cool red buttons that are just idly laying about don't push the red button chris gaming he's a gamer he's gaming so you have triumphed over the puzzle and it did not explode either impressive but the next puzzle shall not be so safe i hope you're skilled at following sets of rules <laughs> Uh, there you three are. It's almost as if we didn't talk just a bit ago. Get on with it. What the hell is this? Eager to continue, eh? Well, this puzzle was nicely, er, kind of violently, but still graciously, contributed by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Great. You see these tiles? I was testing the new functions of this version. I'm surprised I didn't trap myself in with the new force field trapping and the puzzle goer. But as you can see, they vary in different colors and each color has a different function. <laughs> Finally, white tiles, they are your goal. The puzzle is completed when stepped on. How was that understand? This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. All pink, all pink, all pink. Come on. <laughs> what? Ah, seems easy enough. You think you can do it, Chris? Oh, no, 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 no. Not this time. There we go. Take as much time as you need because you might perish before you get close. Chris, don't try to rush through this. Chris, don't ask me for help because I don't remember a damn thing about how this works. Good luck, Chris. Oh, God. Uh... Okay, I smell like oranges, so I cannot go in the blue. How do you even... <sighs> All right. Oh, I know how you had to do that. I just screwed up. Okay. We smell like lemons now. Okay, we had to do that. Gaming. Let's go! It's about time. It took you 62 seconds to complete the puzzle. Were you not paying attention to the rules? If only you understood the tiles functions. All right, whatever. Your puzzles aren't any match for us, bonehead. Just give up already. Boss, I think it's about time to stop playing this game with them. 
No, not yet. I have one more ace on my spiky sleeve. Perhaps it may be too deadly for you. It isn't over yet. Hello. I saw that. Yes. There's a dog hiding in there. Play. You try to get the lesser dog to play with you, but it doesn't isn't it doesn't trust you yet. Oh. Oh <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Keep shaking. I wonder if he's intimidated by Susie. Ignore. Oh, you sent away from Lester Dog and dragged Susie with you. Lester Dog seems to be less intimidated. Noel hums a soothing tune. Lester Dog finds this to be oddly soothing. Ah. I like this attack. This is cool. Tell Noel to comfort the Lester Dog. There, there. We aren't gonna hurt you. Lester Dog stopped shaking. Susie stands tall over Lester Dog. Lester Dog's nest attack became weaker. Let's go. This may be the greatest attack in all of Undertale. Can we be honest? Smells like dog shout. Um, beckon. And then we're gonna heal prayer Chris so we don't die. You called for Lester Dog. It lowers its shield, but it isn't fully out yet. Susie stands tall. Lester Dog's attack became weakened. And we're healed back up. Called for Lester Dog. It puts its shield to the side ready for you. Oh, he's so scared. Brother, I've been there. Play. Yeah! You proposed a game of catch with snowballs. Everyone play with a lesser dog. Lesser dog feels safe in your presence. Let's go! That was the best interaction I... Oh, and he's... Hey, look, he's following us around. The dog looks happy to see you. Pet the dog? Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Aware of dog, please pet dog. <laughs> Amazing, dude. God, this game is so good. Doobie. Ralsei, what the hell did you do? Why do they look so familiar? I, um... Didn't do it. What happened in this room? <gasps> it's just a rock. Yeah, is it? This is ridiculous. The big guy from the guard won't let me by because they're on high alert. They think there's a human rummaging around here. Oh, I wonder why they think that. Right, I swear these dogs are set off by anything, especially ever since the Rosicus got involved. Wait, Alphys? Noelle, if you know her, you can tell her to- Can you tell her to stop training the dogs to be killers? She ain't part of the guard and I'm not looking to be oppressed. Oh, is there gonna be a fight here? There's a door in here. <laughs> It's locked. Damn, now I want to know what's in here. I wonder if we can find a key somewhere. Hmm. Oh, it's state your business. Uh, why don't you move out of the way? This area is on lockdown. A human has been sighted in the forest and we cannot allow it to get past Snowden. Protocol 727, any human sightings must be dealt with immediately. Its soul must be taken at all costs. What the hell did humans even do to you people? You act like they trapped you down here to starve or something. Perhaps you are a group of human sympathizers. I have no tolerance for scum like you. I will deal with you personally. All right, punk, it's on. Greater Dog. Distract. Everyone frantically took Greater Dog to look behind itself. Greater Dog seems to be a bit distracted. I shall slay you, human, human scum. Oh, oh, oh God. Holy shit. Damage, bro. Oh my god, he's so mad. What an absolute threat this man is. Aim to grab Greater Dog's communicator. Press C to grab. Yeah, we got it. Snatch Greater Dog's communicator. Noel spoke so softly to the Greater Dog. Seems like the dog is starting to lower its guard. Starting, I, I guess. Not, <laughs> not enough to not try to fucking murder me. POV, you're a... Tasty looking toddler to the pit bull that just walked in the room. <laughs> Stuck behind Greater Dog removed its spiked collar. Greater Dog is now vulnerable. Okay. Starting to lower its guard. Come on, I know you're not as bad as you look. Greater Dog seems to be resisting the urge to hop into your lap. Susie barks at Greater Dog. Nothing happened. Fucking. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Without its harness, is holding it back. Greater Dog leaps into your lap, completely disregarding that it was trained to kill. Susie barks at Greater Dog. Nothing happened. Greater Dog is very tired. 
Let's go. She just just dipped. Goodness me, only y'all could do something like that. Maybe the dogs will stop arguing now that it isn't cold and stern anymore. Anyway, what's important is now this way isn't blocked. I really need to get to my shop. See ya. We gotta be getting close to the end of the forest by now. All these dogs and enemies are getting boring. And there's still whatever the hell Papyrus has left. I'm sure it'll be fine. Wiz has been doing very well against his puzzles. You sure? He seemed pretty desperate last time. Bet he's set to kill us quickly. I don't think so. He's proud of himself that I... He's so proud of himself that I doubt he thinks... He's so proud of himself that I doubt he think... He's so proud of himself that I doubt he'd sink that low. Why can't you just understand that? You know what'll happen if the bridge is destroyed. Yes, but you good always. That ain't a solution, you idiot. I don't care what Sans told you. Sorry to ask again, but can you all take care of these two for me? I need my damn supplies! Well, we already have business to attend to, so I don't consider this a favor. Perfect! Then let us stop wasting time. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. <laughs> I love this. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Wait, this is kind of cool, actually. Susie! Hey, if the other two won't do it, then... Susie, no! Papyrus, this isn't very fair! This feels no different to what Sans would do! It isn't puzzling, yet deadly! It's just deadly! So you are fine with a deadly puzzle? Well, at least we have a chance to get it right! Boss, don't listen to him. This challenge is perfect. No, no, I see their point. This is an unrefined approach. It's way too overkill. I think it would be better if they had to walk a rope and dodge the attacks individually. At least that is a good timing challenge. But this is too direct. Away it goes. I can't find the controls. I figured you'd back down. Sans, did you really just... Papyrus, you forgot the one thing I told you to value above all else. And that is... This world is kill or be killed. What the? Chris, stand back. Susie, the bridge is too narrow. You'll hit Chris. Damn it. Chris, I've got an idea. Grab him and slam him down on the ground. Wait, Susie, won't that just... Just do it. Yeesh, I was right behind you. You know, you could have just... I, I'm about to... Noel. Oh, shit. Oh, oh! Instant, huh? Wow. All right. Oh... Uh... It was an instant kill. I wonder why I died immediately then. That's odd. Holy shit, boy! Simple enough. I'm a gamer. There we go. They're awake. Careful where you're throwing people next time, Chris. Faha, says you, Susie. You were the one who ran into me and made me fall. Hey, sorry. Uh, it's okay. Say, what happened to Sans? I'm over here. Huh? You came back for more? Nah, look over the big old mound. Oh. Hey, how's the fall? Oh. Not that, Sans. The one that bounced down with us. Oh, shoot, you're right. God, I'm really getting sick of this crazy place. Can we just find a gray door and go back to, you know, the nicer underground place we were in? That Sans better not show his ugly mug around us again. Oh, my ugly mug. Not you. Let's just go. I think I saw my doppelganger for a split second. I don't think he saw me, but I wouldn't be surprised if he attacked you guys again. So, uh, I guess I could offer you guys a discount. My treat. I, uh, thanks. Oh, also, maybe go in with a nice weapon on hand. 
feel like it'd be important to resolving things well. I don't want to fight him, though. I'm doing pacifist, right? We're just going to get a cinnamon button and call it. I'm not buying it. Tense atmosphere fills you with a certain power. Detergent. <gasps> Great door. Huh. Didn't expect to find one of these here. That's convenient. We might as well hop inside. What if we end up someplace crazier? I mean, it's not like we have a way out from here. Unless you want to try climbing down the cliff. I guess you're right. Let's go. Shocker. Oh, please, Susie. You think I'm not paying attention? How'd you... <laughs> I remember this little orphan from the city. She looked a lot like you. Same name, too. It was the most cathartic kill I've done. Oh, I don't like that. You... She had so much life in her eyes when I saw her. It was beautiful seeing the lights go out. It was the most alive I'd felt in so long. And I'm about to relive it all over again. Oh shit. Chris! Damn kids. I'll kill all of you. Fucking psycho! You really gotta go around gloating about killing children? Yeah. This world is kill or be killed. And to be honest, you three have had this coming for a long time. Shut up! I don't care what you have to say anymore. You're going down. So, you three are ganging up on me. Some heroes you are. I think you ruined my life. And came back to ruin it again. <laughs> You're gonna get what you deserve. And me. I'm gonna have a great time. Oi! Okay, Sans Light Fight? Feel like you're gonna have a bad time. Oh, really now, huh? X distract you, Susie, and Noel distract Sans by being very obnoxious. Sans can't seem to concentrate. Last three turns. We are going to dual heal here. Distract. Your soul shines power on Noel. Yeah! Susie mocks Sans for failing to kill her. Sans can't seem to concentrate. Last three turns. You and your damn determination. All living things lose will live at some point. For you, that point is now. Whoa. Whoa. All of you look shocked and yet you barely dodge it. All you humans deserve to die at the hands of monster kind. Oh, shit. I'm dead. So very dead. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. Um... enough okay we got that we got that heals everyone sick 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 yeah Oi. Oi, bruv <laughs> taking a lot of damage man okay distract yeah there we go This is weird. I don't like it. Okay, full heal up. Ouch! Well, that was simple.
Nice. Uh, we'll defend so we can full heal. Try to talk to Sans. Shut the hell up, Chris. Just lay on the ground and let me rip you apart. Seems like talking won't do any good. Yeah, no, really? Is there any way to not violently do this? I don't think there is. But yeah, I think we have to fight him. I don't think there's any non-violent way to do this. Oh, we're gonna fight, fight, fight. Bonk, bonk. Oh, wait. Okay, full heal, nice. Okay, we actually can do damage. Okay, we're doing damage. Much. 199. Nice. Under half HP, baby. X distracts. Three turns of distraction. Nice. Fight, fight, fight. More damage, baby. I'm waiting on the opportunity to finally get my revenge on humanity and rid this world of its problems once and for all. Sans regains his focus. Okay. Distract. Again, out of all the potential timelines. These three just happen to end up here. <laughs> I doubt it. And the worst part, the look on your face, how confused you seem. You're completely oblivious to what you did to me. What a fucking insult. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Dead. Not dead. Rip that goddamn soul out of your cold, dead body. And you'll feel the wrath of that so-called detergent that cost me my life. Doubt. What the hell? My button didn't work. Yeah! Full heal. Two turns of distraction. That's nice. Let's go! This is a fight. A little bit more damage. Yeah, I've definitely gotten used to the jump. I really like it. I, I just wasn't used to it, you know? Like, I just didn't really know what I was doing. Man, this Sans is a tank, though. Boom! 200 damage. You, you really never give up, do you? I'm a busy guy. Places to be, people to kill. Let's get this over with. Fuck. What do you want me to do about this? Fucking, are you joking? Are you joking? I just spent like 40 minutes fighting this guy. What do you mean? This is a fucking outrage. I think we have to change our strategy a little bit. So let me, let me cook a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll see what happens. 200 damage. Okay, that did a lot. I think it's better to just do that and not even worry about actually normally attacking. Worry about healing and using Red Buster. Like, that's it. Okay, half HP. Red the Booster. Defend. Another 200 damage. Beautiful. Red the Booster again. Wow, 400 damage. Red Buster. Fight. Nice. Oh my god. Fuck! Uh, it takes so long to get back. God, dude, really? There we go. <laughs> Give me your soul! 
Well, give it to me. I won't be denied again. I will. I will. I'll. I'll kill. You and Susie spared the enemies, but the enemy's name wasn't yellow. I... I will... Pacify. Sleep Mist. No, I'll cast Sleep Mist. You... Little... When I get my hands... On you... You'll look just like... <laughs> Chris... I'm gonna be honest... I was this close to killing him myself. I don't think he deserves mercy. I wish we could have been able to at least talk to him. I feel like this resentment is more than he lets on. No. People like that aren't willing to give mercy. Their grudge goes beyond whatever the hell they show. They would rather shatter your heart or threaten to throw you off a roof. What? And besides, he killed me. He gloated about killing me. And I... She was just a kid. I think that alone would be grounds to kill him. And what does that mean for our sands? I... Ugh, whatever. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to think about this anymore. Papyrus, you don't... understand. Alright, asshole, I'm killing you myself. Wait, stop! I don't know what... I don't know what that was. Papyrus! Yes, I didn't die. A miracle, I grabbed the ledge after being kicked. But I wasn't kicked for no reason, I imagine. Seance, I know that you are asleep. The first time you slept in a long, long time. But the way you've been acting, it is so unlike the brother I grew up with. The one that would play terrible jokes. The one who valued his friends and memories. I know that you are very reserved, even in the past. But ever since we arrived here at Snowden, I watched as you changed into this cold, jaded killer. You began your murderous spree. You pushed me to seek revenge on the humans. You bashed my head in for refusing to finish off. Seance, I cannot help but think, do you even care about me anymore? Perhaps we'll see if I become one with the snow or not. I owe all of you an apology. None of you deserved any of this, especially you, Chris. My arrogance and doubt truly blinded me. I guess... Papyrus, I'm so sorry. Do not apologize, Miss Noel. This is not your burden to carry. Starting today, I turn over a new leaf. I want to start making a positive mark on the world. And that starts with seizing my goals of becoming a royal guardsman. As cool as the title is, it is written in blood. And continues to grow worse by the day. Instead, I aim to help those in need. I know many people around here need that kind of help. Especially with how cold the underground is. I do hope that others will accept my change. I'm sure you'll do well, Papyrus. Thank you. Take care, you three. Took him that long to say sorry. Susie, I think we should go. Right. Interesting that there wasn't really a resolution for this one, you know? Like, I don't feel like that world was resolved in the same way that I felt like the Earthbound world was resolved. I wonder why they haven't woken up. I know, right? They're all out cold. I wonder who will wake up first. Well, look at that timing. Hey, are you feeling all right? What's with that look? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, whatever. My name's Des, and this is my sister, Noelle. What's your name? Chris? Where have I heard that name before? Well, nice to meet you anyway. 
Noel, can you call mom and see when we need to head back? Okay. Say, Chris, I've got a weird question for you. Are you a human? Yeah. <laughs> so humans are time travelers, huh? Oh, it's a rumor I heard going around. That Alpha's old assistant tried proving humans have time powers. Whoever that assistant even is, but I guess that's rumors. Though, I guess that doesn't explain the, uh, the person that looks like older Noel. Uh, anyway. Yes, Mom wants us to head home right now. Wait, why? Doesn't she go to work in a couple hours? Well, the Royal Guard is gonna go human hunting soon. I think a human was spotted leaving the ruins earlier. And I thought they didn't know what humans looked like. Let me go check on the two upstairs real quick before we go. Are we gonna ride on the boat? Well, if we have to go home right now, then yeah. Yay! Okay, be right back. Hey, Chris. What were you and Des talking about? Guitar. Really? She doesn't really play guitar anymore. She's really good, but she stopped playing as much after our dad fell down. So I bet you're lying. Okay, let's get out of here, Noel. Uh, probably don't talk to the other deer. Why? No reason. Now let's go. Oh, uh, see you, Chris. Oh, but I wanted to meet them. Oh, well. Bye-bye, Chris. Don't we meet again? Chris, what the hell is going on? Why are we back in that rabbit house? Speaking of deja vu. Hey, wake up. Look at this, Noel. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What the heck? Is that me? It's like looking into a strange mirror. Oh, oh I have to go. Ah, uh, bye bye, baby. So I guess that was you from this world. She looks exactly like me when I was a kid. It was like looking into a living family photo. That's a weird way to put it. Then again, if the me here is also a kid, then uh, I'd also feel weird. But uh, there was another deer talking about us. The hell were you even talking about, Chris? Des? Who? I, uh, never mind. Yeah, what did you talk about, Chris? The Royal Guard is gonna hunt us down because you're a human? I thought that we left the crazy dimension. Wait, that lines up with what your mom said. So, guess we do have to keep an eye out. What? Chris's mom is in this world, too. She was like, the monsters here are dangerous. They aren't, but I guess we've got some hunters to worry about. Though, I feel we have some time to chill for a bit. Your choice, Chris. Well, they already look pretty comfortable, Susie. Why don't we chill someplace that isn't in here? What about my vessel? Where's my vessel? That's the real question. Hello? Wow. I got to meet a human. What's a human exactly? Looks like you guys took care of evil me. What about as well as it could have? Because I don't know if the other option would be pretty. Or even satisfy the justice itch. But who can really say? What's been done's been done. So we never find the key. That's the one interesting thing. I wonder if that's going to be in the... Hmm, route. Oh no. I get this weird feeling that I'm about to see something disturbing later. Like someone walking their little brother on a leash. What? I just woke up. Forget what I said. Jester, now I'm what some may call a demon. Just because I smile all the time doesn't mean I'm a clown. It even haunts me in my dreams. Being called Jevil too by someone named... Something Quetzalcoatl the third. I forgot what their first name was. Something with a G? I don't know, but it keeps showing up and punching me in the face. Are you okay? Hello? No. Fucking Goku? Goku is canon? Hello, can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's a wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, <laughs> I love this. What a fun song. The hell is a G? And why do they have Chris's number? Maybe it's from this world? Hmm. 
And why is Chris able to call their mom from here? Good point, Susie. The library. Hello. Oh, hello there. Are you perhaps dimension traveling like I am? How'd you know? I can tell my frisks from my charas, and I can tell that you are. What's your name? Uh, not Frisk or Chara. Name's Susie, and this is Chris and Noel. And you're Papyrus, right? Quite the Delta traveling trio, aren't you? What a familiar name. I mean, we kind of got caught up in this. We're just trying to get home. So you got in here on your own? Actually, no. I walked through a great door and ended up here. A strange alternate version of my own world. But I'm trying to lay low so as to not cause issues. Like... Anything that may happen when finding myself. Do we dodge a bullet? But I have grown quite bored sitting here. This world's counterpart of me is actually quite active. And I'm waiting for him to go on his way. So, would you three like to play Uno? I have surprises I can give if you win, Chris. Why is it just Chris again? Let us begin. Uno, start. What? I can't believe I lost. Susie won, bro. No. New game of Uno. Let's get it, boys. Well, let's turn skip. Ah! Oh, we're out, baby! Yeah! Congratulations on second place. Here is your prize. You got the wild reverse card. Yes, I found it in the deck. I don't think it should be there, so you can have it. Oh, and you also get the prize from third place. Here is your... Wait, you have no space. You can come back and talk to me once you have space. It is a pot of my most treasured spaghetti. It is so large that you three can share it. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> well, once you come back for it, that is. I want the spaghetti. Please, give me the spaghetti. Not me spending an obscene amount of time playing Uno. Prizes. Okay, I got the spaghetti. Cool. Um, what is the wild reverse card? A strange non-standard Uno card in Uno reverses the player order, skips turn. Oh, skips turn enemy battle. Okay, so I mean that could be useful in the future. Oh. That's so cool. It changes the color of my soul. Okay, now we need to win. I'm going to win. I'm playing until I win. I don't care how long it takes. I lost! Fuck! Warning, this theme will make Papyrus go all out hello? So you are choosing violence, eh? Then I shan't restrain myself. <laughs> Get ready. Oh boy. <laughs> what? Why? It's going all out. Fuck! Alright, we're gonna play normal mode and then we'll play that. Fuck! God damn it, I am winning this. I will spend all fucking night playing this right now. I swear to God. I've Unoed. Yes! Ah! First place, baby! Let's go! Congratulations on winning the whole thing. Here is your prize. You got a silver key. You hooked it on your phone's lanyard hole. I found it when I first arrived here, just on the ground. Admittedly, I had nothing else to give for first, but it seems special enough to reserve it for that, so enjoy. I want to do all out Papyrus, honestly. I want to see if I can beat them all out. This is the most intense Uno I've ever played in my fucking life. Do you know that? He chooses violence, but I also choose violence. The violence is going around. Okay, we're 464. Four. Pretty healthy, pretty healthy. Susie on two. We do have to be aware of that. We're going to skip Susie. Actually, we skip Papyrus, damn it. We got there, we got there, we got there. Let's go! Beat hard mode Papyrus and Uno, baby! Congratulations on winning the whole thing. You already won the prizes, so you get my patented smile instead. <gasps> I didn't know that I was gonna do that. 
Whoa, Chris, you breaking and entering? Sounds pretty sweet. Wait, what if we get caught? Hmm, you know, good point. Chris, why don't you go in alone since you're really quiet? And me and Noel will act all nice and proper until you come out. Just don't break anything. You open the drawer. There's a photo book inside. Look through it? Of course, yeah. You start looking through Sans's photo book. Family photos of Sans growing up, then of Papyrus growing up, then the two moving out. There are photos of you and your friends in here. Photos of Sans with other hometown residents. He looks happy. You put back the book and close the drawer. There's a badge inside. Royal Sciences Laboratory, level 10 clearance, Sans the Skeleton. Blueprints. It seems to relate to the nearby machine. You can't tell whether the writing is just poorly written or a foreign alphabet. Blueprints. Yeah, okay. Behind the curtains is some kind of machine in disrepair. The way it looks is eerily familiar. Mm. Chris? Are you okay? Chris, did you break something? I told you not to. Now we'll get caught. Susie, that isn't their guilty face. They'd be snickering if they broke something. Oh. Well, they don't have to talk about it if they don't want to. You're right, Susie. I hope whatever you saw wasn't too startling. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. No papyrus. No papyrus. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, what? Does anyone hear that clanking? No, the hell are you? Shh, it's coming from above us. Papyrus, Alphas alerted me to a human that was spotted west of Snowden. There were two other monsters following it around as well. I'm sending out the rest of the Royal Guard to secure the area. Yeah, I know you have the puzzle set up. Just make sure that you or one of the others catch it. Sure, we can catch its two monster pals too. Seems treasonous. See ya. Of course it's Alphas who ratted on us. I gave Undyne and Susie almost the exact same voice which is now a problem, even though it really wasn't before. <laughs> is that Officer Undyne? Wait, the cops are after us? Susie, keep your voice down! The cops are after you, huh? I bet you two are also harboring a human too. I, I, uh... Now, I want you two to very carefully move the human out of that kelp. Yeah, or what? Or else I'll go in there and rip out its soul myself. Yeah, well, uh, we are getting out of here. Oh! Susie, wait! Ow. Can I go back? You felt you shouldn't go back. Okay, well... <laughs> Shoot, I dropped Chris and Noel. Really hope the cops didn't kill him. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> hey, Chris. Yeah, it's another goddamn door. I really don't want to go in another one of these things. But I don't know if we're going to be safe in here. What do you think? Find another way. Yeah, it'd probably be better if we didn't make things worse. You know, university stabilization and all. But then what the hell do we do? I think I found something. What? <laughs> there's a weird message on this telescope. I think there's a hidden door at the end of the hole. Noel solving a puzzle instead of Chris? Shocker. Hey! Well, we found another way out. Let's get going. Damn it, we're cornered. You two step away from the human. Human, either surrender your soul now, or I'll rip it out of your chest. <laughs> As if you can take on the... Like this? Huh? I, uh, I guess? Quick question then. If I were to jump through this door into another world... A world which might not even have a way to come back. Would you still chase me? Well, 
Chris, what the hell are you doing? Well, if I can't get back here with the soul, there wouldn't be a point. Thought so. See ya. This game is so good, dude! I want more now! I know that text box! I know that text box! Oh man, I love this game, dude. I love this game, dude. Sarah, Rhino GG. Holy shit, you absolutely outdid yourself. That was incredible. Oh, I can't wait to try it. See what happens when you when you kill everybody. That's gonna be interesting. Chris becoming more self-aware and, and being able to control themselves. I mean. Hmm. I wonder what I was supposed to find for Papyrus, though. Like, I feel like there were two opportunities that I had to do something, and I missed it. And I'm not totally sure what I was supposed to do. Writing this, assuming everyone will think that Section 3 is lame because it's based on my interpretation of Underfell. I hope you liked it in spite of that, though. No, it was sick. What the hell, Sarah? Don't be so down on yourself. That was fantastic. Well, howdy. It's been a while since we last talked. I'm sure you had some fun with the edgy trash bag. <laughs> but anyways, looks like we'll be coming up on a whole new world. But I wonder if you'll be forced to endure its strangeness this time. Since, you know, you jumped in alone. Without your friends. Without even any input. It was inevitable. I'm looking forward to see you struggle seeking familiarity in a foreign world. Excited, huh? Well, too bad. You look like you already did the frisk thing, so you get nothing. Maybe in the future you'll get something new, but for now, I'm all you have. See you soon. Self-aware as per usual. All right, well, we actually do have another route to do, and I'm really excited to do it. Subscribe right here to be notified whenever I upload anything else. Check out this video right here because YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy it. I've got a whole bunch of variety stuff on the channel, other Undertale playthroughs, including the rest of my Delta Traveler playthrough, if you haven't seen it already. We're doing playthrough of Undertale Yellow right now, which has been really, really fun so far. The neutral route's going to be going up very soon. And as I said, the not so good route is going to be going up very soon as well for Delta Traveler. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Till then, peace.